Hey there! Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I went back to Traverse Town, but we're just gonna skip there and go to the next world. Oh, hell yeah, it's the gummy ship. Yeah, and I have changed it a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a suppository now. <laughs> you kidding, it really doesn't have textures. Like, ever. Uh, as it turns out, if you put some of the stronger shit on it so that you don't die, it does get, like, kind of textured, but for whatever reason, the early, uh, stuff here sure doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a question. Uh, does the score in this actually do anything? Uh, you can do missions, uh, like, in between the worlds on the gummy ship runs that will... Net you extra gummy ship stuff. Oh, so it's worthless. <laughs> Basically. Gotta get those gummy ship loot boxes. <laughs> if nothing else, at least we have more gun. Yeah. <laughs> it's making combat less of an ordeal. Also, the reason I put just so many wings on this is so that I can turn on a dime. <laughs> Uh, I updated the gummy ship a bit more after this. I will probably continue to keep updating it. It will never look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very much a min-maxed ship. Basically. Jesus, does this ever end? No. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom Hearts. It never <laughs> fucking ends. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, Jesus built my gummy ship. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 2, Jesus wept. <laughs> no, that'd be Chain of Memories. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, don't even make that joke. You don't know my pain yet. <laughs> <laughs> you have such things to show us. <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts effect or whatever. <laughs> Where we're going, we won't need gummy ships to see. Oh my god, I just noticed how weirdly they smell Olympic. <laughs> or, like. <laughs> I guess that's the correct way of smelling it, but I'm used to it being with an eye or something. I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay. <laughs> well, here we are in ancient Greece. <laughs> and immediately gonna take a short or side, because I want this chest. I see the chest, it has to be open. <laughs> Still not how keys work. Yeah. I do like Sora's absolutely no effort bonk on it. <laughs> um, good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Oh yeah, it's not you Danny DeVito. Over there for me? I gotta spruce this place up for the game. The game. The, ga the game. <laughs> game. <laughs> gotta make this game good for the gamers. Well, I can't move that. <laughs> So, uh, everybody in Olympus, as far as I can tell, is voiced by their original actor, except for Phil here, who is voiced by a Danny DeVito soundalike, who is also Danny DeVito's best friend. <laughs> Which is funny as hell to me, because I like the idea of Danny DeVito's best friend just constantly mocking him. <laughs> Including me, the trash man. <laughs> I eat garbage. Real hero shows them by the keyblade. Hero? That grunt? What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. Hey, if you can't even move this. <laughs> Just complete blank stare. <laughs> Cuts the title card, the gang moves a boulder. <laughs> Shit, I should have put that in. <laughs> Oops, I dropped my uh, 
I dropped my monster keyblade for my magnum hero. <laughs> Well, I guess it's time for us to join in the games! <laughs> Hell yeah, time for a deathmatch. No. Time for pro gaming Sora. Wow, what what ferocious monsters. <laughs> ah, come on. Must destroy barrels. <laughs> so so what's your tech for this? Come on. Uh hit the barrels real good. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> Alright, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, my all other tech is forgetting that the lock-on button exists a couple of times. <laughs> That's gonna be a running thing with this LP, isn't it? Watch the fuck out, Ninja. I'm really used to Kingdom Hearts 2, where you really don't need it as much as in this game. <laughs> see this getting really tedious. Uh, yeah, thankfully this is the only time we have to do it. Okay. At least, as far as I'm aware... <laughs> I don't quite understand how this makes us heroes, but... <laughs> I think Danny DeVito would want you to destroy barrels. <laughs> wow, Sora's swole as fuck. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, we've got 15 seconds to destroy these last two barrels. How will you do it? Come on. Oh shit! <laughs> That's some high level strat right there. <laughs> Thank you, I've been practicing my speed run for years. <laughs> You're real good at taking out those stationary barrels <laughs> more barrels <laughs> done <laughs> we are masters of thunder he's uh, gonna make you pick up his laundry next <laughs> now go find me one egg <laughs> It's a good thing you cut me off there still Yagi I was about to go into an Imagine Dragons <laughs> joke <laughs> I thought about it But I, even I don't stoop that low <laughs> oh, hey, Hold on there Fuzzboy oh, Wait let me guess You want to enter the games right? Why does everybody put such weird emphasis on the word games? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, like, all of the villains only have cutscene models of sorts because their mouths are too big to yeah. make textures. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's Hades and his voice actor who I won't make jokes about in case he sues us. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a running gag. <laughs> With, uh, we might have mentioned him on the most recent episode of Sights on Cena as a yeah. recording. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying, theoretically, if someone were to suggest that um, Hades' voice actor is addicted to cocaine, I would disagree strongly. <laughs> uh, my opinion of James Woods is that he is an actor. <laughs> he has a job. <laughs> please don't say words, Mr. Woods. Please, please. <laughs> Anyway, Thunder seems kind of strong. Uh, kinda. It's like the only AoE you get, at least this early on. Oh shit, it's Ganondorf. Close. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's other Smash Brother. Oh wow, it, it, it's Cloud's Undertale. <laughs> ah, I can take him. Who knows? 
God, is this LP just a thinly veiled lead up to revealing Sora for Smash? <laughs> no, no, this LP is a thinly veiled re uh, reveal for Final Fantasy VII Remake being cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> we all knew it was coming, folks. <laughs> Anyways, the games are uh, basically just, hey, uh, fight in this arena. Some of them are fun, like this one where you just fight a million shadows and these idiots. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've noticed the uh, HP now on the lock-on. Yeah, uh, we got scanned now, baby! <laughs> <laughs> also enough AP that I can sliding dash and dodge roll. Hooray. We've started playing a video game, finally. Hell yeah. I, I like that Sora has this badass pose, but Goofy's just, like, hurling himself around. Goofy, come on, you're ruining the moment. <laughs> He's gotta show off those jiggle physics. <laughs> Goofy for Senrin Shingura, 2018. God. God. I mean, he'd probably fit in. Goofy's underage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, let's not get into the Senrin Kagura series and its weird fascination with, uh... Making incredibly sexualized 15 year old girls. No, I meant more about Goofy being underage. <laughs> oh. Doesn't he canonically fuck? Goofy canonically <laughs> fucks. Goofy has created progeny. Uh, Max never appears in Kingdom Hearts, as far as I'm concerned, it's not canon. <laughs> Hasn't appeared yet. Kingdom Hearts 3, a Goofy movie world. Oh, oh geez, you don't get healed in between these fights, huh? No, you do not, and Donald refuses to heal you when he is not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Donald is a piece of shit, and we don't get cured until the end of the next world. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Shut up! You didn't do anything, you <laughs> fucking narcissist. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't actually realize this until, like, literally this fight, but if you hit the, uh, elemental flying guys with their weakness, you actually get, like, triple the experience off of them. Oh, wow. Because they normally pay out one, but if you hit them with their elements, uh, then you get an extra two off of them. The only problem is, when you're in a fight that has mixed ones, the lock-on can be a little finicky with your magic. And if you hit them with the element that they are, they heal. Sorry, but my contract says. I know. You think I don't know? I wrote the contract. I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you gotta fight that. Oh, Hercules for Smash! Come on. I do like how insistent Hades is on getting this cloud to beat the shit out of his child. A I mean, Hades is a piece of shit. It works. <laughs> Specifically, Hades, the character. <laughs> <laughs> Hades is an evil character. James Woods exists. I really don't want to name this episode James Woods Exists out of fear, but at the same time... <laughs> like how this wave is just called the big one. Because it's yeah. just a big one. Yeah. Match 7, body shaming. <laughs> I actually did find out what the name of these uh, big heartless is. They are literally named Large Body. <laughs> also, whoops, that was an ether, not a potion. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> you got big one. You got it's Large fine. Bodied. Need... You got big old. <laughs> it's fine. I needed to show what happens when you lose. This is a 100% <laughs> LP. <laughs> Crossfade. Of course, the most professional of editing techniques. <laughs> and definitely not just like 
necessity because uh, all I have is share factory. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't like just weird, like, hard cuts. <laughs> well, I was a little more straightforward this time. Why does it cut to Donald? That's a good question. I'm slowly growing to hate Donald more and more. Well, uh, we should probably heal up before this fight starts. I'm about to die. Damn it! <laughs> You don't get to refight Cloud. <laughs> oh no! You got on stained. <laughs> I didn't even know this cutscene exists. Because <laughs> this is a different one to you winning. <laughs> I just assumed it would kick you out to the lobby and make you play through it again. <laughs> Why did he mummify his sword? What? You know, dog. Dog. <laughs> oh. Hey, Phil! Get them out of here! Well, I'm glad he showed up <laughs> at the last minute. <laughs> So there's no real uh, punishment for losing the cloud there, huh? Nope. <laughs> you just uh, don't get the experience points for it. And your shame is, like, captured on video now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Anyways, we should probably go help out Hercules. This ain't just some match. This is real. Unlike those times when you were fighting against the... Heartless that were trying to murder you and steal your soul. <laughs> like when uh, I, I got you to fight against that man with a gigantic sword. <laughs> Who immediately ran it through my torso. <laughs> well, bye. Alright, peace out, Hercules. <laughs> See you, kids. See you in Hercules, Ooh. too. Can you deflect any of those shots? You can. Uh, it's a bit difficult with the timing, but I do it a couple of times during this fight. Yeah. Ooh, this also, Cerberus has one health bar. It's not like all of his heads have their own health bar. I see. I was about to ask that as well. Uh, wow, this guy looks like a real piece of shit to fight. It's kind of fun. I'm trying to climb on his back because I've heard a couple of people say, like, oh, that's a easy way to cheese the fight, but uh, I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, remote play. Ouch. Holy shit, Donald knows how to heal. <laughs> what the fuck? Donald's pulling his way? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> No, he's pulling my weight. <laughs> yeah, there, I, I managed to deflect one. Yeah. Oh, remote play. <laughs> uh, I do actually think this is a pretty neat boss, because, like, it does have actual honest-to-god, like, faces to it. It is, like, almost Mario-esque in its design, if that makes sense. Where, like, the first phase teaches you, like, here's his fireballs that you can deflect. Uh, here's, like, this movie does. And then after that, he starts adding, like, extra shit to him trying to hit you with the fireballs and stuff. And it kind of becomes a challenge in juggling the mechanics. And I, I kind of like that. This is, honest to God, one of my favorite bosses in this game. <laughs> Which, I mean, isn't really saying too much, because a lot of them are just kind of tedious in some fashion, like the Trick Master. Yeah. <laughs> or just kind of boiled down to you fighting a big Heartless. <laughs> so, uh, I can see the way they, they do health bars in this is multiple tiers. Yeah. 
Uh, I, they change it up in, ouch, every game post uh, one, where instead of colored bars, uh, it becomes, uh, what it, like, little pips uh, uh, underneath the bar, so you can tell exactly how much it is. Yeah. Which I think is actually better both from, like, a readability standpoint and also an accessibility standpoint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a very attractive health bar. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, like, it's not very nice looking, and also, like, I can't imagine some of the bar tiers later on playing well if you're colorblind in some fashion. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> so what is the most effective way to take health off of bosses in general? Uh, I mean, they've all kind of got their own gimmicks to them. Like, uh, the Trick Master, if you hit him while he's, uh, dancing enough, he kind of gets stunned and falls down, so you can hit him a couple of times. Uh, Cerberus is basically just hit him in the head, like, whenever you can. And the easiest time is to just, like, not be in front of him when he's chomping down there. Or deflect if you're good at <laughs> video games. <laughs> Is magic, like, any good against him, or...? Uh, that's a good question that I didn't think to ask. <laughs> <laughs> because, it, like, magic's just kind of boring to use in this game, and as you uh, may be able to tell, we've kind of only got, like, three pips. Yeah. Oh, so are those just, like, not flat by, are those just straight up the amount of magic you have? Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, you get more magic power or MP or whatever back from uh, getting physical hits, which I think is a neat idea for like a risk reward type game. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, okay, you get more magic, but the problem is that uh, a lot of the time when you want your magic is in these big one-on-one -on -one fights where, like, it's kind of difficult to get in and get out. <laughs> yeah. So most of the time you're gonna want to keep your magic in the boss fights for cure, but then, like, occasionally when you're taking damage, you're not in, or, like, you want to be in the range to hit them. Yeah. <laughs> so. I know a dog's dead. <laughs> yeah. I got him with a deflect. It's the greatest thing I've ever done in video games. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get an achievement, like a true gamer? No. Oh. Then it's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> How will anyone ever know that you did it? Uh, again, though, like, later games in the series uh, do remedy the magic issue in their own ways. Uh, a couple of games have, like, their own style of doing it. Uh, we will get to that when we get to that. <laughs> You gotta have a gun! You'll have to find out for yourselves. Just the way that I did. Why does this sound like Sonic? We'll start by proving ourselves in the Thor, if someone tries to hug you without your permission, that's no good. There ain't gonna be any games. Sora, don't play in washing machines. Okay, we'll be back. Hey, you want to see uh, the my least favorite line in this entire game? Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. Hey, thanks for diminishing my accomplishment. <laughs> I wasn't having fun playing this video game either. <laughs> Sorry, fucking soaks the game. Oh, great! Hey, kid, you here for another ass kicking? <laughs> hey, are you all right? Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? I'm oh my god, I just noticed the claw gloves! <laughs> <laughs> the single claw glove, and then the other one's a fingerless. God, I hate it! I fell into darkness. Also, shit, he's just dressed like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Zack from Crisis Core, but with a shitty Don't cape, isn't he? <laughs> I'm searching too. Like, I get that's part of Cloud's character, but also, huh? <laughs> Don't lose 
lose sight of it. Well, goodbye. A Here's a quarter. Fair and square. No dark powers involved. I didn't use any dark powers. I, I hit you once with a large sword. <laughs> I want a sort of shitty grin there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that that big speech about darkness and light won't be important in the long run. Never. <laughs> Why would you He's ever gone. think that? He's always there for you. And he to boot. So, uh, I'm probably not going to show it off, but in order to close the keyhole to Olympus Coliseum, you have to finish all of the, uh, the games. Oh, oh, Christ. <laughs> Which basically just means you keep coming back here to do, like, optional content, uh, like, every couple of worlds. <laughs> Which, I mean, is fine, because it gives you a reason to keep coming back here, but at the same time... This is my show. Is that how you become uh, a true hero? No. <laughs> Fight to your heart's content. Eddie's going to make some really terrible uh, tweets now. <laughs> On that note, we've got one more world we've got to go to in this ring. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. See you next time, Paul.